Saints rumors and news coming at you guys momentarily, but as I'm sure you know, there's a lot of buzz around Tyron Matthew right now and possibly signing with the Saints, and this is a fact. It is proven by science. No need to check it out. If you subscribe, there is a better chance that Tyron Matthew ends up signing with the New Orleans Saints. No need to check it. It's just the truth. So if you want Matthew in New Orleans, hit that big red button right now. Tom Downey here for New Orleans Saints Now by Chat Sports, breaking down the rumors and the news on the New Orleans Saints. A lot of little roster moves we'll get into, but first, ooh, the Honey Badger and the Saints. That rumor continues to be a little bit more than just a rumor. Ian Rappaport this morning tweeting out that Tyron Matthew heading into the Saints facility for a visit while he's in New Orleans with family and friends. By the way, feels somewhat noteworthy. Called him a defense back as opposed to just a safety or a nickel corner. Nothing imminent, but one of the top players available will be one at his first facility this offseason. Now, the Matthew Saints rumors have been out there for a long time, and understandably so, right? The Saints have a need. You lose Marcus Williams. You lose Malcolm Jenkins. Those are two of your, if not really two, your best safeties. Yeah, you, you brought in Marcus May, but that's only one starting spot. And... He's a New Orleans native, spent a lot of time in the area. This would be a going home of sorts for Matthew, and no team, Rams close, but no team shows salary cap isn't real, quite like the New Orleans Saints. They are constantly aggressive, even after losing Sean Payton. They make that wild trade up in the draft. They could get a safety and a premium one, safety slash nickelback, by the way, which they've got one of those guys already in Sean C. Gardner Johnson, but you add another one, basically replace Malcolm Jenkins, upgrade. I think, at safety. Now, that's not a slight of Jenkins. That's how highly I think of Tyron Matthew. Got a photo, by the way, of the Honey Badger at the facility, by the way, checking it out. Looks like he's in shape. Not that you would expect anything otherwise, but that is proof that he is in New Orleans visiting the Saints. Sounds like that visit ended, but that is noteworthy. Honey Badger last year was really good at football. Shocking, right? There was a report that came out that said, oh, teams are worried that he's, that he's regressed. And I'm kind of like, I don't think so, though. And I don't, I don't think Matthew is peak prime Honey Badger anymore, but we also just saw Malcolm Jenkins play forever as he continued to age before Cullen and career and not really falling off all that much. I think he'd be a fantastic fit as the Malcolm Jenkins replacement. I'm not that worried about the age. He's still fairly young. His body's held up pretty well in recent years. I think it'd be a great signing, even if it would be a bit expensive. Not quite record-breaking, but get $10 million a year or so. So I want you to be honest with me. How happy would you be if the Saints right now or tomorrow or Thursday or Friday or whenever went out and signed Tyron Matthew? Use a scale of 1 on the low end to 100. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get that ad break here on YouTube, take advantage of it. While the ad plays... Head down there and let me know how happy you would be about Tyron Matthew to the Saints. Lots of little roster news here out of New Orleans. We'll begin with one of the more notable signings in terms of impact and name you might have heard of. Taco Charlton, the Cowboys legend, first round pick taken out of Michigan, who was bad in Dallas and has bounced around the NFL, the Chiefs, the Dolphins, the Steelers, four teams the past five years for Taco Charlton, now a member of the New Orleans uh, Saints. Spent last year with the Steelers. Details not yet known on the contract. I, I will say this. It's going to be a one-year deal, vet minimum, and close to vet minimum. Probably very limited guaranteed and probably not guaranteed a roster spot. This is a, you can come in and fight for our fourth defensive end role or thereabouts, and if you make it, cool. If not, yeah, we'll just cut you because no one's paying current Taco Charlton to be really anything because he's been a bust that, that that that's what it is not a disaster overall like he can help you a little bit but not remotely what the Cowboys and most of the NFL thought Taco would be in the NFL half a sack last year with the Steelers two sacks in 2020 five sacks 419 they're like oh see the Cowboys were wrong deceptive five sacks that's the outlier year because he got lucky a couple times but it wasn't consistent. The Cowboys spent a first-round pick on him, and he didn't even make it three years with them. That's the Cowboys. They hold on to first-round picks forever, early-round picks forever. Disaster draft pick by Dallas, but as a cheap 
veteran, worst case backup makes the roster. Probably little to no guaranteed money. It's not that bad of a move. So I want your thoughts again here. Are you happy with the Saints offseason so far? H for you're happy. You for, eh, you're, you're unhappy. Hasn't gone the way you wanted at this point. So let me know. H for happy. You for unhappy. More roster moves. This one's intriguing to me. Justin Evans, who I liked coming out of AM several years ago, has signed the deal with the Saints. He has not played an NFL game since 2018. Injuries really kind of ruined him uh, a little bit from that standpoint, which is rather unfortunate. Maybe he bounces back. This is, again, there's not going to be any guaranteed money. He's getting a shot to show what he can do. We'll see if that actually ends up being the case. But it's a noteworthy addition who, eh, maybe he'll flash in the preseason. I would be a bit surprised if he ends up making the roster, but that'd be a good surprise in the end. Speaking of not making the roster, bye-bye Blake Bortles. He gone, out of here. He, was, he requested his release and got it. Because even in the year 2022, Blake Bortles thinks he's a backup QB, which blows my mind because he's not good. I am sorry. He could have fought for QB3, and whatever, he gets cut. He can go latch on somewhere else and try to fight for a QB3 or a QB2 role. But the Saints suddenly now down to just three QBs on the roster. Jameis Winston, Andy Dalton, Ian Book. Because remember, Taysom Hill is now playing tight end for this team. More on Winston in a second. But first, the Saints official draft hat is out now. This is the same one the players who get drafted in round one. Players intentional, at least for now. Maybe they'll make another weird move. Uh, they'll be wearing it as well. So you can get yours today at chatsports.com slash saints hat. That link will be in both the comment section and in the description. Now, former Saints QB, the QB Drew Brees, offered his praise for one Jameis Winston, saying he thinks Winston is, they're going to have success. They're going to build around him. Winston last year was much more, I'm going to say, responsible with the football, given his 30-for-30 uh, 30 30 season. Not as accurate, still some up and downs in there. But it seems like, unless they make another crazy trade move to go get a QB or take one in round one, that Winston is the guy for this team in the short term. Here's what Breeze had to say. I think it's set up for success with Jameis. You continue to build pieces around him. That will help him be successful. I think the defense of the ball has incredible leadership and is playing at a really, really high level here the, the last few years. I totally agree on the defense. The defense, that's why Dennis Allen got the job, right? They replaced Sean Payton. Has been incredible. I and the, the NFC is gettable. So I do think that the Saints and Winston can make some noise because had they had Winston all last year, I think they make the playoffs. Will that continue without Sean Payton? Well, that's why they play the games, right? What do you guys think, though? Make a prediction for me. Will the Saints reach the playoffs with Jameis Winston? Why for yes or and for no?